Hi, I'm Andrea from Pink Cake Princess. I'm going to show you how to decorate makeup cupcakes. This is the eyeshadow palette cupcake. There's four in the set and you can check out the other cupcakes in the set on my channel at Pink Cake Princess. And if you do like our work, don't forget to click that subscribe button and you'll be updated every time I upload new videos. Okay, to start off with, I'm just going to ice a regular size cupcake to create a semi-domed finish. Now you can get the vanilla cupcakes recipe on my channel. Um, click on the link that I'll be posting here if you want to go straight to that video. Okay, next I'll be rolling out some fondant icing. Now there's more information on fondant icing and a list of materials in the video description below. I've used my circle cutter to cut out a disc of blue fondant and I've just rolled it out to stretch it a little bit to cover the cupcake. Okay, so now I'm smoothing it over on top of the cupcake to create my domed finish. And then I'm moving on to some black fondant. I'm just using my rolling pin to roll it out. And I'm using my palo knife to cut out a rectangle section and then just removing um, the excess. Now I'm just going to show you roughly what the measurements are on a ruler, roughly about five and a half centimeters by four centimeters. And then I'm just going to cut out a long rectangle uh, strip and that's going to form the basis of our um, applicator. Okay, now just smoothing the edges over there with my fingers. And now onto a little bit of white fondant that I've rolled out. I'm just going to cut basically a little square out and then I'm just going to round off the one end and the other end I'm just going to glue it onto the little black strip. Now I'm using just a little bit of water and my brush to stick it together. And try not to fiddle it with too much because it will fall apart so you need to let it sit and dry before you can handle it. Okay, so you just probably leave it for at least 10 minutes. Okay, next I'm just rolling out some pink fondant, dusting my surfaces with the corn flour bag so that my fondant doesn't stick. And then using my palo knife to cut out a long rectangle section. I'm just using the black portion just to give me a guide of where to cut. Okay, smoothing the edges over and that's roughly how I want it to sit. Okay, now doing the same thing, I'm just going to cut out, cut out a section of green fondant. Now this section, I want about half the portion of the pink fondant. And then just using the pink strip just to give me a guide of where to cut. And same thing, I've rolled out some blue fondant here. And I want it roughly the same size as the green section, so I'm just following that as a guide. Okay, now it's moving the edges over there. And checking it with the pink section. And just trimming a little bit off because it's a little bit longer than what I want. Okay, now onto my water. I'm just going to glue it on. The pink portion onto my black, my black um, little palette. And I'm going to do the same with the green and the blue. Okay, if you haven't had a chance to um, check out the other cupcake, you can do so on my channel. The first one's already up and this is the second one. Okay, now I'm using a little um, charm that I have. It's in the shape of a butterfly and I'm just pressing it into the fondant to create a little texture just to give it a little bit uh, more interest than just a plain palette. Okay, pressing it gently down. You can use whatever charms you have lying around. And then just using my palette knife, putting little indents to create more of a textured look. Okay, now just assembling it onto the cupcake. I'm just using a little bit of water and then just sticking it all together. It may not stick straight away, so you just wait for it to be a little bit tacky and then it'll stick. And that's it. That's your cupcake. Um, there's four in the set. And like I said, if you do like my work, don't forget to subscribe. And also click that like button if you do like it. And don't forget to share and comment on my videos. I love reading your feedback. It keeps me motivated to share more with you guys. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. And you guys take care. Don't forget to tune in for the other cupcakes as well.